Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Alexander Grace. You know, a lot of these videos that women make are actually just projections of the type of men that they allow in their lives. And uh, Alexander does a pretty good breakdown of just how their thought process works. <laughs> Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Okay, we've got to watch this video. I love videos like this because you've got a bunch of women who think they're talking about how awful men are, but what they're actually revealing is how low their standards are, how terrible Correct. their choices are. I really don't think that the women in these videos understand just how poorly this reflects on them. Anyway, let's watch. I got played by a guy that wanted me first. Woo! I got ghosted by my boyfriend of eight months. Woo! Guys only want me for my ass. Woo! That's all you offer. Both the guys I were talking to got girlfriends. Woo! Fucking side The trip. last guy I hooked up with doesn't remember my name. Woo! Your night stand. I just got a boyfriend. Woo! Woo! Why do women date these type of men? What's motivating them? Let's explore this. Imagine a woman has a one night stand with an awful guy. Like he's rude to her. He's sexually selfish. He doesn't text her back. So what does she do? Does she take the L? Does she allow herself to be humbled? Like, whoops, that was a bad choice. Better make a better one next time. I feel ashamed of myself. And that's a good thing because that shame is going to prevent me from making bad decisions in the future. I don't want to feel that shame. So I'm not going to date these awful guys anymore. That's what some men do. They wake up in the morning after sleeping with do. some trashy girl in a one night stand. They think, what was I? After my divorce, I had quite a few nights like this, waking up after. Uh, it wasn't even all that enjoyable. Thinking, never again, I've got to learn from this mistake. And some yeah. women are the same. They own their mistake, they take responsibility, they learn their lesson, and then they move on. But some women, they choose a very different strategy. After sleeping with one of these awful guys, they decide to double down. To walk mm. away, that would be to admit failure. That would mean I'd have to take responsibility and then i'd be feeling that awful sensation of shame and regret and i don't want to feel that feeling that's really unpleasant but you know what i don't need to feel like i'm a failure until i admit defeat if i keep trying with this man then i haven't really failed yet who knows if i end up winning and end up in a great relationship with this guy then i've never failed so i never have to feel those emotions it's definitely how a lot of women think they're so uh, grandeur with their ideas of that particular man so it's, it's actually not that they think they can change him they just don't want to admit that they made the wrong choice so they stick with the person thinking that, oh, sooner or later, it's going to be the best choice of their lives until it doesn't. <laughs> this is what so many women are banking on, justifying their terrible decisions in the past by succeeding in the future. Maybe sense. some men in the audience can relate to this if you look at a different area of your life, like investing. You mm. buy a business or some real estate property or better yet, a stock, but you buy it recklessly. You didn't do your due diligence. You put way too much money in and the investment is just going down in value. Some guys sell at a loss, all right? They take the L, they go, whoops, that was a huge mistake. I've learned my lesson. I better not do that again next time. Other guys double down. They hold on to the investment, even as they watch its value plummet, but they say, I haven't really sold yet. It could recover. Things get better. I don't need to admit defeat or feel like a failure yet until I actually call an end to this, but I'm just going to keep going, keep trying, keep believing. Understand that's how some women are with men. Okay. That she invests sense. too much. She sleeps with the wrong guy. And then like I can use the gambling as a good one. You know, you put in a hundred bucks, you lose a hundred bucks. Are you going to be like, yeah, I lost a hundred bucks. Are you like, you know what? I got another hundred to try to win that hundred back. Then you lose that hundred. Then you bring out two more hundred to try to win those two hundred back. And, and then it goes on and on, you know? And that's how uh, Vegas gets rich off of this exact mentality. Turns out he's a jerk. He's selfish. He doesn't put in any effort. But she thinks, I don't want to feel like I made a mistake, like I'm a failure. I don't want to take responsibility for that yet. So I'm just going to double down. I'm going to keep trying with this guy because who knows, things could get better. And I mean, the thought process makes sense because when women talk about their exes, it's always the narcissist, you know, controlling, you know, fuck boys. It's never anything that they've ever done or 
anything that they've ever chosen or anything like that. It's always the man's fault or the man is always the the reason why everything is going to shits. And so she stays with him. She continues to sleep with him and she tries to change him. Now, part of that is playing out the female fantasy that so many women's romance novels are written about. You know, finding that dark, mysterious, scoundrel sort of man and then civilizing him with her femininity. But part of it is just more basic than that in that she simply doesn't want to admit her mistake. She doesn't want to take responsibility. She doesn't want to feel like a failure. Her ego is too fragile to take the L. And so she keeps trying with him. She keeps sleeping with him. Maybe the sense. more time that, that I I spend with him, I'll discover that he has all these hidden depths and that he's actually secretly a really great guy and there's potential for a relationship there. If that turns out to be true, then it wasn't a bad choice for me to sleep with him originally. And so I don't need to feel bad about what I did. Maybe over time I can change him. I can turn him into the perfect man and that will vindicate me. You see what women are doing here? They're using an imagined future to try and justify the past. She thinks that so long as she continues to sleep with him, then that choice to have that one night stand with him at the beginning, that can't be judged in isolation. Whether or not that was a good choice depends entirely on how things turn out in the future. That makes sense. Again, with the gambling thing, if you make all your money back, hey, I didn't lose anything, you know? But if you keep trying to win all that money back, you might be in a deep hole future. Who knows? That choice could turn out to be the best choice that she ever made. If she manages to turn him into the perfect man, then thank God she had that one night stand. But can you see in this painfully ironic way that the worse that he acts in the aftermath, the more selfish, the more greedy, the more he takes her for granted, the less effort he puts in, it can actually have the effect of strengthening her bond to him because it makes the... This is true. There is some women that I really do not give that much time of day and I not that I treat them badly or anything. I still I think I, personally I still treat everybody pretty e equally. But I just don't give them as much time or when they ask me for things I just treat, uh, do not do most of those things and they seem to message me more and more even if when I ignore them after a month or two I'll still get messages <laughs> like almost every other day after a month or two like it's it's the psychology of not wanting to lose is actually so big i think it's big for men too initial choice that she made to sleep with him so much worse like oh god he's such a terrible guy which of course increases the feeling of regret of failure of shame but with such negative emotions also comes the strong desire to push those emotions away no -uh, i do not want to feel those this is turning into a really huge mistake and so i really need this to work out i really <laughs> need to keep trying really need to change him the stakes are so much higher she has to make yeah, the relationship work so now because now. otherwise it's just gonna crush her if you've ever wondered why that girl that you have a crush on is seemingly continuing to sleep with and have a relationship with a guy who objectively seems like an awful jerk this could be the explanation her feminine instincts got caught up in the moment and she slept with one of these bad boy jerk men and she's so embarrassed by her choice but she can't admit it and so she just keeps on trying in order to try and justify that mistake i'll tell you this if you're ever competing with another man for a woman if she has slept with that other man and she hasn't slept with you it's very unlikely that you're going to succeed, even if you're better suited for her, even if she likes you better, because psychologically, women don't want to feel like they've made mistakes. And if it this is true, so same chick that I'm talking about, she just recently messaged me and told me that she's talking to someone, but she still messages me every day. And I'm just like, well, good luck. I won't message you anymore, but she still messages me, even though she's talking to someone else. I told her, well, have fun. You know, like, I'm not the type to really want to deal with someone that's talking with someone else or, you know, wants to find someone else. And uh, it doesn't stop her from messaging me. It's, I think she feels that I'm that choice, that uh, that bad boy or whatever that she didn't want to admit she made a mistake on. So it was just a one night stand she really doesn't want to feel like a slut psychologically women can't really deal with that sort of self-image and so they continue to try and have a relationship with this guy try and sleep with him more often to prove to themselves that this wasn't a cheap one night stand with the wrong guy no this was a relationship so if she slept with the other guy and no, I, yeah this is 100 correct like 
same chick you know slept with her cut a few times try to cut her off but she still wants to have you know have sex i'm like yeah, fine sex is sex but every time we have sex she always wants to talk about like wanting to build an empire together which tell the truth that's the biggest red flag to me is when women say they want to build an empire together so so i just told her like that's not what i'm looking for and it's been quite a while but now she's talking to someone else but still messages me so it's not you you're facing an uphill battle even though she might prefer you choosing you over him means that she needs to take responsibility for her choice to sleep with that guy lots of women don't want to do that understand this that for a woman when she sleeps with a man there are now two relationships that are at stake it's the relationship with the man she slept with but also her relationship with herself that's the mm. message that i'm trying to get across in this video is that when women are making seemingly destructive choices in their dating life it's often because they're trying to preserve a positive self-image and a good relationship with themselves they're sense. trying to justify their choices because they just can't handle the shame that comes from an honest accounting of their own behavior. Of course, I don't mean to present this as though men are somehow morally superior to women. Don't get me wrong. Men sleep with lots of women that they shouldn't, but they don't seem to feel that ashamed by it. I've yeah. made videos in the past exploring why I'm not a big... I mean, I get that post, you know, um, coitus, uh, regrets a lot <laughs> lately, at least. Uh, I mean, I don't know, after being married for so long and then going out there and just sleeping with women, it's not the same. It's not as enjoyable as uh, sharing that connection with that one person. And I actually miss it, to tell you the truth. But it is what it is. I mean, sex is enjoyable, but the after feeling of like that regret that why did I even have sex with this person? It always lingers for me. Fan of male promiscuity. I'll put a link to those down below if you haven't seen those yet. But at a fundamental biological level, my judgment is never going to be too severe because at our core, men do have a desire for sexual novelty. Maybe you've heard of the research that shows that when watching pornography, men's arousal goes down and down, 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 down until a new girl comes on screen or a new act, something that's shocking and exciting. And then our arousal just jumps through the roof. It's the spread your seed part of our biology that's just hardwired to sleep with new women. A lot of men struggle with this instinct and they worry that it's going to compromise their ability to be monogamous or committed in a relationship. And that's what I talked about in my latest Patreon video. I explored all aspects of this male desire for sexual novelty and how to actually work with it. If it's something that you've struggled with and you need some advice, then please head over to my Patreon. It only costs $7 and you get access to that video plus like 300 other videos in my back catalog, all sorted by topics and category. For every video I post here on YouTube, I post an additional bonus video on my Patreon, which means that at the moment you're only seeing half of my total content. Come over to Patreon. That was some good chow. You know, as men, we always want that novelty sex. But I think once you've gotten so much of it, like I feel like Andrew Tate, a lot of these big names, they say it, right? Pussy's pussy. After so many pussy is not really that much different the drive to want to hunt it isn't that much greater because it's all been the same for so long at least that's how i feel and i'd rather just connect with that one person and you know fuck the shit out of that one person than fuck the shit out of all these other girls that i have no feelings for so please like and subscribe down below i'd really appreciate that and uh let's get you guys next time Ciao, ciao.